Hey guys, today I want to make a quick video showing you a project I've been working on. This is a blower out of an old gas furnace. It's a four speed motor on it. It's got a start run capacitor. It's actually it acts more like a start capacitor. But before we get started talking about the blower, this is also my hundredth video. So let's go set some smoke bombs off. Okay, now let's get back to the blower. I set this up like this to use as a fan here in the garage because it gets pretty hot in the garage and as you can tell right now it's about uh, almost 100 degrees here in the, inside the garage here and it's humid too. Now if anyone builds anything like this always have a put a, like a screen or a guard over top of here and on the other side especially this side because it's open while it's running, you can get your hand caught in there, and these things could take your fingers right off. And have a screen here on the front, too, because this is turning like that, and you can see that could be real bad like that. And also, since this whole housing is metal, be sure you ground, hook up a, your ground to your frame here. That way, if something shorts out and you touch it, you're not going to get shocked. And if you're using a multi-speed motor like this, be sure to tape up or wire nut all unused wires going to your speeds. Now you probably see on off on, you probably wonder what that is. I got it set up so it's off in the middle, and down here like this is low, and all the way up is high speed. And this motor is a four speed, it has low, medium low, medium high, and high. So I set that up as high, and all the way down to medium low. And also your starting capacitor, it's best to have a have this in a housing, like a junction box or something. I just did it like this, but just using it around the garage. And you wouldn't want to use something like this around kids, because most kids are nosy and try to stick their hand down there and see what's there, and you don't want that, so just use caution with anything like this. You probably wonder why I wanted to use a blower. Well, blowers put out a higher volume of air, because you got to think. A blower like this pushes air all the way through your ductwork in your house up through into each individual vent, so it takes a lot of air to do that. And you might think, oh, that uses way too much power. I don't want to do nothing like that. It'll run my electric bill up. Actually, it don't draw that much. I put my amp clamp on it. On low or medium low, it draws about six amps, give or take just a little bit. And on high, it just draws eight amps. So it really ain't that too really ain't too bad. It uses a lot less than the air conditioner. I don't like air conditioning anyway. You have to have your garage closed up and everything, and that's a pain if you have to run an engine or something. Have to open all the doors and lose all your cool air. So I just use a fan here. But like I said, if you build something like this, always put a screen here and a screen on both sides. That way you don't get your fingers cut in there. And also another purpose of it, in case you got like a rag or something laying around, it won't get sucked up into it and cause it to jam up. And let's plug it up and we'll see what it does. Put it on low. Yeah, that draws quite a bit of air. I'm going to hold this t shirt up here and give you an idea how much air it moves.
I just sat in the back of the garage on a chair and it uh, blows the air all the way throughout the whole garage so it works out pretty good here and if you wanted to you could probably put like a uh, piece of metal here like a piece of sheet metal with two screws and you can move it and make like a baffle so you can blow air in like different directions I might do a video at some point on uh, showing how you'd wire up a multi-speed motor and show how I wired this one up Well, I decided to make it a little easier to carry around and I put a handle on there. So now I can just lift it up and carry it by the handle instead of having to find a place to hold it like here and on the other side there and make it a lot easier. Well, guys, that's just about it. So uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.